Hi everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Diaries. Pam Grier was brought into the world on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. She was brought up in a family overflowing with social extravagance. Her folks, Gwendolyn Sylvia and Clarence Payment, Greer Jr. gave her a sustaining climate, regardless of the difficulties of her dad's tactical vocation. Greer's legacy is a brilliant embroidery flaunting dark Hispanic, Chinese, Italian, Filipino, and Cheyenne parentage, a demonstration of the mixture of America, the Greer family's traveling way of life, directed by her dad's tactical help, drove them on an excursion across mainlands in 1956. They wound up in Swindon, southwest Britain, where Clarence chipped away at an aviation-based armed forces base. Regardless of being one of only a handful of exceptional dark families around Greer, they experienced less segregation compared with the U.S. She clearly recalls how in the U.K. racial bias was coordinated towards Germans, not blacks anyway. The unmistakable real factors of isolation and prejudice looked for them upon their revisitation of America in 1958, getting comfortable in Denver, Colorado. Pam Greer's experience growing up was set apart by her strength and versatility in investing energy in her maternal grandparents. Ranch in provincial Wyoming offered her brief looks into her family's ancestry, following back to precursors who looked for opportunity by means of the Underground Railroad regardless of the difficulties. Greer flourished scholastically and imaginatively. She went to East Secondary School in Denver, where she improved her acting abilities through theater creations and participated in Magnificence, exposed to subsidize her advanced degree at Metropolitan State School in 1967. She took her action to the City of Heavenly Messengers, first finding work at American Global Pictures. LIP monitoring the switchboard, it was here that destiny mediated, as acclaimed Chief Jack Slope found her expected, prompting her breakout jobs in Roger Corman's course movies based on Ladies in Jail. Greer's enamoring presence and evident ability immediately made her an installation in the thriving dark double-dealing classification of the mid 1970s. Her depiction of strikingly confident characters was quite in Jack Slope's Espresso. 1973 solidified her status as a pioneer in Espresso. She directed the screen as a medical caretaker looking for retaliation against street pharmacists, procuring awards for her convincing exhibition pundit. Roger Ebert lauded Greer's depiction featuring her momentous mix of excellence and substance, a unique case in Hollywood at the time with Espresso, making way for her pivotal profession. Greer arose as the primary African-American lady to lead the charge in real-life films, breaking generalizations, and preparing for the future of ladies in business. Her effect rose above film as she wandered into TV depicting different jobs. For example, Steven Siegel's criminal investigator accomplice, an exempt from the rules that everyone else follows in 1988 and repeating appearances in famous shows like Miami Bad Habit Martin and The New ruler of Belair Greer's flexibility and attractive presence made her after ability with her common job in the TV series Wrongdoing Story, further hardening her place in amusement history in the last part of the 1990C. She graced both the screens of all shapes and sizes, exhibiting her adaptability and ability. Greer's depiction of the title character in Quindon Tarantino, Jackie Brown, 1997, acquired her boundless praise, collecting selections for various honors and cementing her status as a realistic symbol. Furthermore, she enraptured crowds as youngster Dorman in the kickoff series. The LW a job she depicted for six seasons until the show closed in 2009, venturing into the domain of C-Fi. Greer entranced watchers as the imposing antagonist Amanda Waller, otherwise called the White Sovereign, in the hit series Smallville 2010. Her capacity to occupy different characters with profundity and magnetism further established her standing as an adaptable entertainer. Past her commitments to media outlets, Ake Greer's effect stretches out into magnanimity and local area activism. She is the main impetus behind the Ake Greer People Group Nursery and Training Focus, an association with the Public Historical Center of Multicultural Western Legacy. Through this drive, Greer expects to teach people about natural planting, well-being, and sustenance, enabling networks with information and assets in acknowledgement of her powerful profession and compassionate endeavors. Greer got privileged doctorates from the College of Maryland Eastern Shore at Langston College in 2011. 
Her momentous depiction of engaged female characters has procured her honors and esteem, with Pith magazine hailing her as a progressive figure whose characters motivate crowds to cheer from the edge of their seats. Looking forward, Greer's wonderful excursion keeps on unfolding. In January 2018, she uncovered plans for a personal movie in view of her diary, suitably named Pam. Moreover, in April 2022, Turner Exemplary Motion Pictures' TCM declared a fourth time of their digital broadcast. The situation starts to get interesting devoted to investigating Greer's life and profession, further establishing her inheritance as a pioneer in the realm of film. With this achievement, it's all nothing unexpected that we would highlight her ultra-rich home's chateau in Franktown, Colorado. Pam Greer's home in Fur. Town, Colorado, portrays rural tastefulness in one of the state's most pleasant towns, settled in the midst of the quiet scenes of Colorado. Blunt Town is prestigious for its grand excellence and quiet environment. Pursuing it is an ideal decision for those looking for a serene and welcoming way of life. The actual house is an open homestead flaunting five rooms and three washrooms spread across in excess of 4,200 esqueft of residing space. Built in 1990, this single-family home sits on a rambling four-section of land parcel, offering adequate space for protection and open-air exercises with two covered parking spots. Accommodation is guaranteed for mortgage holders and visitors. The same venturing inside occupants are welcomed by a large group of present-day conveniences intended for solace and style. Two-fold coated windows and vaded roofs add to the mood. While a stroll in the wardrobe gives more than adequate extra room, the kitchen is a point of convergence of the home, including top-quality machines and jazzy completions that take special care of the discontented property holder. Unique exercise hardware further upgrades the residing experience, advancing well-being and health inside the solace of the home. Externally, the beguile goes on with an exquisite yard that fills in as the ideal background for outside pleasure, and unwinding the outside of the house decorated with blocks emphasizes consistently. Mixes provincial enchantment with present-day plan components, making an outwardly engaging style. In April 2020, Pam Greer recorded the property available to be purchased with a requesting cost of $1 plant particle doll, mirroring the allure of the area and the nature of the home. In the end, in October 2020, the property was sold for $940,000 by and large. Pam Greer's previous home in Franktown typifies the exemplification of nation residing, offering an amicable mix of solace style and normal magnificence, whether partaking in the peacefulness of the environmental elements or engaging loved ones in the extensive inside. This enchanting farmhouse genuinely captures the essence of a Colorado manor in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Pam Greer's momentum home in Lockhurst oozes extravagance and solace, offering a brief look into refined living in a delightful corner of the world. This custom-built home flaunts five rooms. Four full restrooms and two half-bathrooms guarantee adequate space for both unwinding and diversion, arranged on a corner parcel. The home's plan boosts normal light, making brilliant and welcoming air all through. The expert suite is a shelter for unwinding, including a stroll in shower and refreshed rock ledges, adding a hint of polish to regular residing. The core of the home lies in the kitchen, where rock ledges and tiled floors meet an extensive kitchen eating region enlightened by bay windows. Neighboring the kitchen, the pantry offers accommodation and usefulness for occupied families venturing into the lounge area. Visitors are welcomed by perspectives on the roomy open passage, with sight lines stretching out to the incredible room embellished with a comfortable chimney and high roof. Higher up, four extra rooms and a full restroom complete with a Jack and Jill bath give more than adequate space to family and visitors. The terrace is a safe haven for open air residing highlighting a cusp. Tom built deck with a chimney ideal for social occasions and unwinding a separated patio and lower level expand the diversion choices offering flexible spaces for all seasons. The cellar adds to the home's allure with a reward rec room and a second washer dryer hookup. Residing, additionally, an office space serves as an extra room total with a full shower and wardrobe right outside the room, guaranteeing adaptability to address the issues of current residing. From the fastidiously planned insides to the enticing outside spaces, this house is a genuine safe haven where to make enduring recollections 
and partake in the better things in life generosity. Thanks for watching this video.